Hello there, Vlad Arstrak is here. Today I want to compare to two weapons for what's Commando gameplay. First goes my B2525 Pixel. Here it is. It has these mods. And its opponent B2525 AK47 AK Handmade has the same exact mods. So I have two rows, exact rows, right? With the same exact mods but one it is a fixer another one it is a handmade and i want to thank the guy who actually gave me this beautiful gun and this guy is responsible for doing this as well he modded my plasma rifles and clear version he modded this one and this one as well one thing you see slammer Thank you! This guy is a gun collector. He has a lot of legacies. He's crazy! I mean, I saw his list. Oh my god, so many legacies. Thank you, man! Before we start, please consider to subscribe my channel. In six days, I will level up in real life. I will get older and it will be a very nice gift from you. Please. Ammo is cheaper for handmade. Here I get 20 rounds for wait, 6 lead, 12 steel and 4 gunpowder. And 45s goes like 4 lead and uh, 10 steel. But I will get only 12. Okay, okay. First let's check how fast the condition of these weapons degrades. As you probably know, the same same weapon can have different amount of hit points. So I will measure only the missing part here. It doesn't matter that the fixer's condition bar is bigger. Can be a different story actually. Basically, I killed level 60 Papa Hawk five times with the fixer and five times with the handmade, checking the register of damage. Like me, it worked this time. A couple of times I wasted some 556 shooting at his corpse. Here is not about how much ammo I wasted in total. Fixer's damage is higher, meaning less ammo you need or the same amount. Here I want to show you that the fixer's condition degrades faster. The total difference was like 8 rounds. Yes, the fixer does more damage, but I suppose that in total I cut off the same amount of hit points. Speaking of action points usage, the fixer uses 45% less per mag, probably per bullet as well. Here's my build for Watts Commander. Damage perks are Commando, Tenderizer maybe, Neut Rage, Covert Operative, Mr. Selma, Gunfu, Adrenaline, Bloody Mess and Beta Criticals. Speaking of temporal damage buffs, I use Small Guns, Bubblehead, Guns and Bullet 3, Blight Soup, Ballistic Bog, Overdrive and Psycho Tats. What I want to show you is the difference between max damage output. Basically for that I need to max my Adrenaline. Gunfu gives an additional point of damage. Ok. Less talking, more walking. So anyway, I need to talk about that. Here I drop down the shaft, ballistic bog, overdrive now, and then psychotas. Hello, puppy. Okay, this damage isn't max because I killed only three vendors. What I'm gonna do now is equip headmate and show you that with higher vast usage, it is possible to shoot non-stop. But anyways, let's remember 70 damage idea right now, because it is a bottom line for fixer. Now head made time. Let's check where I start. Oh, 67. Hmm. Yes. Gunfu is quite helpful for literally one button gameplay. You don't need to press Q button or whatever button you use for bats. Whenever I start to deal 300 damage to Wendy's, that means max damage output for handmade. For fixers this number is 347. Vast criticals just help me to make this video shorter, right? You see quite big number, time to time, and this is a Vats critical. Ok, with the handmade I can deal 700, oh 71 sorry, 71 damage from guy's head. Quite nice. As you see, there is no problem for Vats usage. I still can jump around doing stuff 
if you wonder why I do that, I mean jumping the whole time, I tell you every his acid speed can kill me. Basically, he can one speed me, or I am one speedable. 64 damage means adrenaline is not working anymore and I need to kill Vendis and there is plenty of them. So damage range is between 64 and 71 and adrenaline rank 3 gives me 7 additional damage points per bullet. Before I switch to the fixer I want to say that I try to solo the queen and this scorched bitch, literally bitch, <laughs> regenerated her health 8 times. 8 times. <laughs> Special hello to developers from Bethesda. You are rock stars, guys. Okay, Z Fixer. And the max damage outcome is 79. Quite good. Oh no, 77. These two additional points are provided by Gun Fu. Okay, dokie. That gives us the difference of 6 points of damage between the Fixer and the Hand Mage. Anyways. Let me to get the job done with the weapon I love more. Die puppy and give me something interesting. Okay. He's dead and let's check what I will get from him. Oh, and here I have 10 damage difference. To not make another Vestek Lackish video, I go here. Let's go. I have the best rifles of the game. There is no need to see how I to shot every mini half using auto MG. If I don't use any temporal buffs, I can deal 500 damage to these glowy guys. Okay. Keep going. And what about reloading time? Let me measure that as well. Everyone is dead? Okay. The animation lasted 2 seconds. The fixer as you see does 46 more damage. And depends on the enemy you are about to kill, it outperforms head made by 6 up to 9%. The guy just wants to pee. Let him pee, please. Let's check the reload time and make some sort of conclusion. Ok, here we have like a little bit more than 2 seconds as well. Mass of Scorch reported in your vicinity. The headmate accuracy is better, means the probability in VAS is better as well. When I have tested them in this video, it was 1% more for headmate. But as I played with them around the whole day, I can tell that it doesn't affect your gameplay. So finally, condition wise, headmate is better. For VAS usage, it loses a lot, but anyways, you can kill super fast. Literally the same amount of bullets because 9% more damage is nothing for common mobs. Big mobs need more attention, right? And there you can save some bullets with a fixer, but you can craft more ammo for headmate, and it is easier to farm because of Vestek. For boss fights, the fixer is better hands down. Auto aim outperforms not auto aim and Fenita La Comedia. Fixer is a boss killer king. Okay. That's all for today, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.